Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. In today's video, I will be explaining the importance of the digits 0 and 9 while making a BOQ using Sesame 4 standards. So in Sesame 4, if you move into section 4 under coding and numbering of items, there is a subheading called coding of unclassified items, point number 4.5 and 4.6. So if you read through it, in 4.5 it is mentioned that where a feature of an item is not listed in the work classification, the digit 9 shall be used in the appropriate positions in the code number. And 4.6 mentions that where there is an item to which a division of classification does not apply or for which fewer than 3 divisions of classifications are given, the digit 0 shall be used in the appropriate positions in the code number. So to explain this, we will move into a BOQ here, I made a BOQ class I pipe works. So if you move into class I, so here class I is for the installation of pipes under Sesame 4. So you have first division, second division, third division. First division is the material of the pipe being used. Second division is the diameter of the pipe that is being laid. And the third division is the depth of the trench or if it is laid in trenches or not. And if it is laid in trenches, the depth of that trench that is mentioned in the third division. So while preparing a BOQ, imagine that you have some pipes, concrete pipes, and it is of 200 mm dia and depth of the trench is 1.5. So how will you code this? So concrete pipe as for first division is second point. 200 mm dia is the second point as per second division. And the trench 1.5 meter will be as per third division it will be the second point. So your coding is going to be I 2 2 2. This is your coding and if you move into the second item it is 250 mm dia same concrete pipe. The 250 is also coming under second division this is between 200 and 300 and third division is again 1.5 m. So again it is same I 2 2 2. So if the coding becomes same you can always use 0.1 for the first item and for the second item as point 2 to just differentiate them. So here you have two points. Now the third item is a 400 mm dia. So 400 mm dia will be as per second division it is coming between 300 to 600 so it is 3 and depth of trench is 2 meter. So here it is coming under 3. Under second division you can see that 200 to 300 is second point a second class under second division third point will be 301 to 600 fourth will be 601 to 900 fifth will be 901 to 1200 sixth point will be 1201 to 1500 seven will be 1501 to 1800 and more than 1800 will be eight so similarly for this also so here it will be i since it is same as concrete pipe two then it will be 3 because it is coming under third point 300 and 600 mm dia since it is 400 mm here. So I 2 3 the depth of the trench is 2 meters so it is coming again under 3. So 3. So this is how you can put the codes for each item under Sesame 4. Now let's see what the importance of 9 is. So here another pipe comes PPR pipes. So if you see the materials of pipe PPR pipe is not given under first division. So in this scenario, the importance of 9 comes up. So when you put your coding, it will be I 9 since the material of pipe is not mentioned and then the remaining will be the same I 9 since it is 200 it will be 2 2 and 0.1 because your similar type of material coding is coming here. So I 9 to 2 point 2. And here it will be I933. So this is the importance of 9. So you might think that since in the first division already only 8 numbers are given. So obviously next number will be 9. So it is not like that. If we go to I have mentioned another items here class X miscellaneous items. If you move into class X. See under class X under first division only 5 divisions have been given. Under first division 5 items have been given. So in this situation also I am putting an item called statue. So it is a miscellaneous item. It is not 
under any other classes it is coming under miscellaneous work and also under miscellaneous work only uh, details regarding fences gates drainages to structures above ground rocks filled gabions open cell block system are given so in this situation also when you start your coding it will be x since it is class x again 9 it is not going to be 6 because since only 5 is given it is not going to be 6 so that is the importance of 9 now what is the importance of 0 so here now 9 will be your first division so no details have been given for the second and third division for this item so in this situation you are going to put 0 0 so always when you code all these three numbers should be mentioned and if no details have been given for the second and third division you have to mention zero since it is a white statue and another similar item is coming so this will become x900.1 and this is going to become x900.2 so this is the importance of zero so always your coding will be first the alphabet of the class then your first division if it is available that should be mentioned if no material is available under that class you will always put it as 9 and you have to complete it with the second and third division and if no details for second and third divisions are available you have to put it as 0 so this is the importance of 9 and 0 another example will be if you had some pipe work fittings and valves which is under class J you are installing some valves and pen stocks it is some gate valves hand operated and power operated if it is gate valves hand operated it is one if it is power operated it's two and then three for non return valves for example if you are having this type of item it imagine that it is a non return valve that you are installing and it is of dia 100 mm so how are you going to code this so it will be since it is under class j it will be j8 since first division is valves and pen stocks is 0.8 since it is a non return valve it will be 3 and since nothing is mentioned regarding dia or anything you have to put it as 0 and then put 0.1 if it is 100 mm maybe it will be 100 mm non return valve then you will be having a 150 mm non return valve so this will be 0.1 and the next item will become 0.2 always all these three numbers should be there while coding your items in sesame 4 so hope this small video was informative please do share it with your friends or colleagues and do like this video please don't forget to subscribe to quantity serving studio for more such informative videos take care thanks a lot for watching bye